celebrate Women's History Month, I thought we could talk about a very celebrated movie that you probably didn't know was directed by a woman, The Matrix. At the time of its release, being 1999, it wasn't as accepted at the time, but in recent years, since the times has changed, Lana Wachowski has come out as a transgender woman after years of struggle because of having to hide who she felt she was truly was, and so now she finally feels comfortable enough to be who she knows she was meant to be. Lana talked about the stress she went through as a youth, feeling disassociated from everyone else as though she could not fit anywhere. She did not feel right being in the boys' line at lunch, and couldn't go into the girls' line either, and so she just felt kind of out of place. For a long time, it really got to her, and kind of made her go through a whole spiral of depression, and went to really dark places. But after all that struggle, she was finally able to manage her feelings, and kind of able to stay in a safe place for a while. Later on, she's able to put her feelings into an art form, being able to create things like films and bring them to reality, which is how she created The Matrix alongside her sister, now known as Lily Wachowski. I mention The Matrix because it has been revealed that it was created as a sort of trans allegory that makes multiple references to trans culture, such as how the villain is always denaming the main character by referring to Neo as Mr. Anderson, as well as the character Switch, who was originally going to be a character that changed sex between The Matrix and the real world, but ended up being an androgynous woman at the end of the final product. After this movie, Lana would go on to create many others. Some were good, some not as much, but others were just straight up unappreciated and didn't get the recognition they needed. But not every director is going to create an absolute masterpiece and none are going to be box office hits, so what do you expect? Around 2010 is when Lana had finally come out as a transgender woman and started taking life in her own hands. Really, those are the biggest points to know when thinking about Lana Wachowski. She's a great director and is living a very fulfilling life. To end this off, I would like to tell you to go give your mom, wife, or whatever important woman is in your life, and give them a big hug and tell them, it's Women's History Month, so I kind of have to. Oh, and you're a pretty cool woman, so thank you for being a woman.